Well, I've got a couple of friends asking me how you install the drivers onto your PC for the Team Orion Advantage Touch charger. Right, you go to teamorion.com and then you'll find downloads at the top of the page here. Go on to Advantage Touch Firmware. You've brought to this page, downloads and updates. Pick your country flag, in my case it's England. So you press download, this window will open up asking you to put your email address in. Stick your email address in there, submit the form. It'll give you a link or it'll start downloading automatically. Right, once you've done, make sure you download it to a destination folder that you will remember, so it's easy to find later. Once you've done that, go to the folder you've downloaded. That'll be mine there. Advantage Touch Firmware 1.5. Then if you've got a Mac, go in this folder. If you've got a PC, go in the EN folder. I've got a PC, so I'm going to go in the EN folder. Now you get your instruction. You get your little manual there. Your how-to manual, which is pretty simple to understand, but I'm going to show you anyway. You go on to drivers. You got this file here, CP21 OX VCP installer. Click on it, and it'll ask you to install it. Just press install, don't bother changing the location. I'm not going to bother doing it because I've already got it on my PC. So I'm going to cancel it. Once you've installed the driver, plug your charger into the USB port. Don't switch the charger on though. Then you come in back into the EN folder and you'll find this here. TFT charger update. Click on that. Uh, straight away it should put the right port in there. Mine did. I didn't have to change anything. You press open and then in your EN folder, if it's not browsed on it already, browse to it and you'll see TK606 B1.5 English. Double click on that and then it'll tell you to make sure your charger is powered off and connect the charger to the computer by USB cable. If ready, click update. You click the update button. I'm not going to do it because I've updated mine and I've not got it connected anyway. Just press the update button and the instructions will come up on here, which you should see in the other video I've done, which I'll put a link to in the description down below. And hopefully you'll be able to update your charger now. Thank you for watching.